Well, I decided to let's play a hint of tint. Crying behind the dumpster? Oh, great. Quit it! Come on, Mandy. Quit following me. I meant it, you know. I don't want to see your face ever again. Mandy, why do you always have these moods? It's your fault. Your decision. But we can make it work again. Not this time. Not after you humiliated me. Calling everything off at the last moment like that. I hate you. I'm hurt too. Then you should be happy it's over. Come on, Mandy. Just go away. That dream. It wasn't a dream, was it? But it seems like so long ago. What? Where am I? What is this place? I've never... Knocked down chairs, bloodstains. Was there a fight? What's going on? Who brought me here? What was I doing before this? I was arguing with Brian. No. Yes, but what happened after that? Why can't I remember how I got here? That girl, who is she? She's dressed up like... I don't even... What was that? I want to go home. I would too after that. This is like a maze or something. Nia, what? Oh, you look harmless. Get away from me. You don't smell like anything I've ever met. Where's your tail? What, what, what are you? Nia, what do you mean? Can't you see? Those claws, that tail, they're not real, right? Step on my tail and I'll let you feel my claws. I, I wasn't going to touch. You have no tail. You must be a tailless, Nia. A what? Where's the other one? The other what? The other of you, the male tailless. You know where he is, Nia. Who? Never mind, I'll find it myself. It must have just been created. <laughs> hey, what was that all about? What do you mean I was just created? <laughs> Nia, just what I said. And what does that mean? The spawns only can make females too, but it better have made a male or this cat will go neurotic. Huh? I don't get any of this. What's this talk of making me? You were just made. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Once in a while, the spawn still makes a female like you. Who knows why? It makes no sense, Nia. I'll say. The first minutes of one's life are confusing, Nia. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's locked. I don't know how she hops so high. Ain't no way I can do that. What was that nonsense about a spawn symbol? I wasn't spawned. I was born like anyone else. I have memories of my town, my university, my part-time job. I remember my friends. I remember Brian. If I could recall my childhood better, I'm sure I'd remember my parents, too. I'm normal. Of course I am. That cat was just talking out of her. What am I saying? She wasn't actually a cat anymore, and these are actually the first minutes of my life. A convincing outfit, though. Now, where's the door? I think I've ha seen enough of this place. We split up here. You act as if you're the one giving orders. I am not the queen. Is the queen ordering that we split up? The queen hasn't ordered that, but... But we can search more efficiently this way. Understood. Tylena. The races are more desperate than ever before. There will be intense fighting for both of us. Yes. We separated. It was her idea. All the better. You can't follow her without being seen. Of course. Not lose her, Diano. Do not assist her, either. Even if she's attacked? Tony is a first-rate soldier. The question is, can you keep up with her? I can keep up with her. Then do so, Diana. As you command. So, is that supposed to be the queen? 
The game saves automatically. Upon starting up the game, you'll resume from the point you're at when you quit. If you're defeated by an enemy in story mode, you'll continue from the entrance of the room you're in at the time. The turn consists of moving one square, performing one attack, or using one combo related, combat related items. When you're contemplating what to do for your next turn, other creatures will not move or attack. Turning without moving does not count as a turn. Hold on the R button to turn without moving on the keyboard. The R button defaults to the W key. Your goal is to always find the next area. At times it may be necessary to backtrack through backtrack to earlier areas to search for needed items. Metals are your points which are used to level up your health, attack, and special bars. When you have accumulated enough points to level up, you'll automatically be prompted to do so. If you wish, you can save out your points for the next level up. When another creature encounters Catch a side of you for the first time, you'll totally pause for a turn or so while trying to decide what to make of you. In most cases, she'll suddenly dem you an enemy and try to attack. Your actions and other factors can influence a creature's disposition towards you. To perform a normal melee attack, you must be standing next to another creature facing her. Press the C button to perform the attack. Here, where the C button defaults to the space or enter key. The C button is also used to examine objects that are part of the room. Your health is indicated by the hearts of the status bar above, with each heart presenting four health. There are two primary ways of healing yourself, eating food and resting. Eating food is preferred when possible as the effect is immediate and does not even count as a turn. Pressing the L button will cause you to skip a turn on the keyboard. The L button defaults to the Q key. By skipping several turns in succession, you will go into a rest state in which you will gradually gain health for as long as you continue to skip turns. Our resting carries with a significant risk, while resting your vision is decreased, making you susceptible to ambushes. Standing zero, you'll pick up any items on the square. You can avoid picking up an item by walking past it without stopping. It does not count as a turn to pick up or drop items. You will not last long in Easter Storm by directly attacking everything you see. Acquisition and use of items is the key to survival. Press the A button to view items in your possession. On the keyboard, the A button defaults to the Z key. On this screen, it's possible to use items in various ways. Expendable items have a small number in the right hand corner, which indicates the quantity or number of uses remaining. Press the X button while viewing your inventory will consolidate and sort your items by type. The A key. Drop the key just yet. Moving into the next area. Oh. A breeze made there's a way out of this way. I hope so. My throat is as dry as Brian's jokes. Brian's jokes. Could this all be a joke of his? Got to be in one elaborate joke. No, Brian isn't that mean-spirited type. Would be nice if he, if that was all it was. That thing has a lid. Hmm. A corpse? She's beautiful. Or would be if she weren't dead. All right, I've had enough of this. Whose joke is this? It's not funny, one. I really don't have time for this. I have classes tomorrow. That's right. I'm enrolled somewhere. At Winston University. I was going to change my major this week. This week? What week is this anyway? Huh? A tunnel? I 
Now I know where the breeze was coming from. That lid. That lid did not move on its own. There's no way. I don't even want to think about it. I just want to be home. So tired. Talus, get here by yourself. Is this the exit? Exit and exit isn't this way. Were you born yesterday, Talus? Actually, you were. Whatever, how do I get out? Hard to find the out when you start from the in. You're saying we start from the inside, not we, just you. I didn't start here. Someone must have hauled me to this obscene land of nightmares. Who, how, and where from? That, I... I can't remember how I got here. But I must have been brought here, since I'm positive I've never seen any of this before. Nia, of course not. Can't you see can't see a thing before one has an existence with which to see? Oh brother. Look, if I was just born, explain to me how I'm able to talk, hmm? All Talus are born able to talk. I give up with you. Just tell me where I can find some water. I'm kind of thirsty. Look straight ahead. That is not water. I don't know what that is or what was that died in it. Are you not going to drink? Do I look like a vampire to you? No, nor do you have the scent of one. What? It's good. You should drink. Drink blood? No, thank you. Not blood. Water. Clean, delicious water. I don't think that would be water. It's pink or purple or something. What were you expecting? Even if it has consistency to it's not water. Nia, yeah, but it is. You were thirsty, weren't you? Just, just tell me how to get out of this place. The way you came in is no way out for you. With legs like that, I bet you could barely jump over a beam. Then, well, where are you going? You don't seem to be trying to get out yourself. Not until I found him, or at least found whichever racist found him first. Who are you talking about? The male tailors, of course. A woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. A woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. I can't drink that. No way. No matter how thirsty I get, I'm never putting that into my mouth. I just need to rest for now. All creatures must drink. Thirst gauge is displayed on the left side of the screen. And will slowly increase as turns go by. If the gauge becomes full, you'll begin to lose health. <sighs> I'm found throughout the sanctuary, so... Left. Oh, rest for quite a while to get your health back. And that's the problem, because you can get jumped while you're resting. If you ever try throwing items at creatures, you might discover new uses for old items by tossing at your foes. Bear in mind that throwing items are destroyed when they hit a creature. You can throw an equipped expendable item instead of using it in a normal way by holding down the R button. W and pressing X, A.
I'll try and rest back up. Oh. Darn it, wrong button. Get that. This is from the main menu. Bring out the main menu by pressing the B button. On the keyboard, the B button falls to the escape key. Oh. Yeah, I know. This isn't the way to solve all problems. Lena. Not on any luck. No luck yet. I see. How about you? I see no sign of him. Nor are the knights bring him to us. Knights do not have the tailless boy, then another race must have stolen him from them. Or he might have escaped. Like the last one, right? Tylena? It is possible, I suppose. But that wouldn't happen again, would it? It'd be a tragedy for the hive. A tragedy for the queen. A tragedy for who? A tragedy for the hive. Yes, a tragedy for the hive. I will find him. Queen, you're right to send me with her. Sun has shown her stripes so soon. It was merely a hint, but she let slip something which cast down her loyalty to you. You'll see more than hints of her disloyalty, I'm sure. Continue to track her. What's wrong when the knights are not cooperating? Not cooperating? What is this? They are not brought us to Talos. It appears that he is not in their custody. What? This one has escaped too? Uh, it might simply be a weak, a weak race has captured him, and all we need to do is find them and crush. A weak race would not be defeating knights of Ishtar Sanctuary, now would they? I suppose not. Ergo, a weak race does not have the boy. Possibly not, my queen. You are sure Tylene did not try something while you were sleeping on your stinger, Dion. Queen, I am sure Tylene does not encounter him even once. I have not let her out of my sight. And knights are searching for him as well. It appears so, but there are many races in the sanctuary this time. Curse Jezebel. This puts me in a difficult position. My queen, I need to search for the Talus, and I also need you to follow Tylene. But you can't very well do both, can you? So which am I supposed to have you do? You're asking me, Queen? No, you follow Tylena. The knights will, will find me this tailless boy. 
Yes, queen. So thirsty. I'll faint for long if I don't drink something. Maybe just a sip. Just get me going until I find real water. If I close my eyes. Blah. That was beyond awful. Much worse than I imagined. Even after spitting out, my throat aches. I feel somehow more thirsty. How can anyone's body take that? You can find better things to drink underneath your bathroom sink. Is someone coming? There's water. Are you thirsty? I am thirsty. Is it good? It is. Do you see over there a Talus? I see a Talus, but not the same Talus that Nyx has captured. We'll capture this one too and bring her to Nyx. Nyx will be happy. She may even let us have the other Talus when she is done with him. She might. So Centaur inches in the Talus as well. Nah, I came for a drink, but there's no point now. So I have imps makes the purest water taste like a dead harpy's vomit. Does the centaur have a problem with imps? The centaur seems too. Does she wish for a fight? Bring it if you think you can take me. Ha! Aha! Well... Shouldn't be afraid of them, Talus. You're a female after all. What was this all about? Why does everyone keep calling me Talus? And you clearly not possess a tail. Or horns, or hooves, or wings, or fangs, or fins. What, and everyone else has one of those? Please don't answer that. I can see you've been newly spawned. I have no idea about the world. Not you, too. No, I've not been spawned. I just woke up here, and I don't know why. I can totally remember all about my life, my school, and my ex but you know. I don't know the meanings of all those words. The point is that I have memories. They're distant, but they're real. That can't be. Talus have no memories. Everyone knows that Talus are all created through the power of the spawn symbol. That is when life begins for a Talus. What is the spawn symbol I keep hearing about? And who are the other these other Talus? They're not nearly enough of you, I'm afraid. Even Jezebel is only used to spawn symbol more than three or so times a season. You understand what you're saying. The spawn symbol which resides in the sanctuary is what gave you life, almost certainly by accident. No one would be foolish enough to waste a spawn symbol's power to create a female. Why is that? Still. Never on Jezebel's watch. I wonder if it really could have been an accident. Jezza who? I'm sorry, Talos. I can't graze here all night. Wait, where are you going? Look, I can't have you following me. I have my own concerns. But there's still so much... I'm warning you. Don't follow me. I'll run you through if you get in my way. I just... Don't think that I won't. But... A bee's venom will kill you slowly. A harpy's bite will end your life in a rush. But nothing brings death more immediately than the horn of a charging centaur. You don't give up. Did you know I was behind you? Hard not to. You have neither the light steps of a cat nor the muffled visibility of an assassin bee. You're not upset, I hope. Ho ho! I knew you weren't as mean as you tried to sound. I can't be letting myself go soft. Not now. What's your name? Chariz, the last of the centaurs. The last one? As of nine seasons ago. Really? Afraid so. That's terrible. I've accepted. It doesn't get me down. How can I get you down? I don't believe it. You're not familiar with the hardy disposition of centaurs. Of all the centaurs I've ever met, I guess you are the first. And the last. I'm Mandy. Stay back, Mandy. Centaur is an extremely dangerous opponent. Not a very convincing performance. I used to have a horse. Well, it wasn't my horse, but my friend's parents didn't mind me riding her. It's hard to hide from them how much I love horses. <laughs> Centaur is not a horse, nor does one own a centaur. Certainly, that goes without saying. Chariz. Back there when you scared away those imps, I know you did that for me. I should have thanked you then. No, really. I can't stand imps. 
imps, devil succubi, and a lot of their blood. The horned ones are the worst, and the most powerful. Well, I'm really glad that of everyone I've met, the nice one was you. If you're thinking of reaching your hand out to stroke my back, no, you might not get it back. Oh, tries. there you go again. You should stop trying. I don't use the zap creatures in the general area in front of you. Wands are unstable by nature. If there are multiple creatures in range, it's anyone's guess which one of them will be wand zapped. So, will be wand zapped. So their capacity to hit creatures outreach makes them quite handy. You can be our salvation. If anyone can, it's you. What do you want? Take me to one of your hiding places. Take each of us there. We must be assembled together for boarding the vessel that will keep us safe during the storm. What are you talking about? We will help you in return. Roll. Uh, I don't even know where critter holes at. Well, take the supplies then. Most items can be equipped. If the item is a piece of jewelry, equipping it will display it in one of your three jewelry slots on the right side of the screen. As items are spelled, equipping it will display it in your spell line slot, and it can then be used on the fly outside of the inventory screen. Using a spell line on the fly is equivalent to using it from the inventory screen in a way that is most commonly used. For instance, if a potion will be drunk, food will be eaten, etc. If it's not equipped to your expendable item slot on the fly, press the X button on the keyboard. The X button defaults to the A key. Points required picking up metals are applied not only to yourself but any creator you might have equipped. When a certain level goal is reached, you will have master ability the career has been granting you. That is, the ability becomes permanent, freeing your career so that another career equipped at your next visit to a critter hole.
Darn it, I hit sleep. I wanted to hit W to turn around and blast it. I lost the one. Talk to anybody in this game. Just want to try and communicate. Come over here. Take some of them. Go this way. Ack, why'd you do that? I can't even get out of the sanctuary. The sanctuary? My destination lies further in. You're leaving me? I'm sorry, Mandy. I'm not trying to get out anymore. No. All I want to, but there's something sort of more important. I need to find water really badly. That's right, Tails can't drink our water. On offer, they always refuse, asking instead for water that's blue of all colors. You knew that? Do you know where I can find blue water? I've never seen such a thing in my life. Oh. Charisse, why am Artelis spawned? You really don't know? I suppose you wouldn't. Then tell me, how long have you been bumbling around here? 
I don't know, maybe one day, but it feels like forever. You've seen other races, have you not? I've seen weird creatures that can't decide if they want to be people or animals. Were any of them male? But now that you mention it? Well, it's hard to tell these things. What am I supposed to do? Pick them up and look underneath them? I'll tell you you haven't. You haven't seen males of any of our races because they don't exist. W what? There are no male cats, no male devils, no male spiders, no male bees, no male harpies, no male centaurs. Then you really are wearing costumes, I knew it. Yank my horn if you think this is a costume. If there are no males, how do you all reproduce? We use males of your kind, of course. That... We spawn them. You... For that purpose. What? That's insane. Even then, there's a breeding crisis ongoing. It's getting quite bad. Wait, that makes no sense. Now what you said does the slightest explain what I'm doing here. You may have been an accident. It has happened before. What, um... Why does the tailors around here after you all are, um, done with them? They die. From thirst. What? That's terrible! That's cruel. How can you do that? Use them for your pleasure and then let them croak? It's wrong. If we knew how to keep them from dying, we would. But that doesn't stop you from spawning them, does it? Now you brought me here, I'm going to die too. And all because of your f because of you freaks. You half beasts to use humans for your own ends. Bit of help saying I never made with any tailless myself. But I know very well that's the reason you're here. You're looking for a male human to mate with like all the other t hawking animals, aren't you? No, you're wrong about that. Well, that's what you're here for, isn't it? You said you were head deeper into this maze. You said you believe you wouldn't jump out at or on the first opportunity? Last of the centaurs wouldn't try to prolong her species by getting fresh with mine. Chris, where are you hoofing off to? I'm tired and I've lost and I'm very thirsty. Without you, I'll die out here for sure. Still need to save my race. I told you, I accepted that fact. Then why'd you come here? I can't explain. I mean, not nobody you would understand. You're spending a hot slaw of things already that I'm not sure I understand. Oh, Charisse. Therese, please come back. Maybe I would do the same in your position. My species was about to kick it. I mean, there was a boy. He was my fiancé. Your what? We were going to marry. Marry? Oh, well, it means to mate, sort of. We were going to mate, but we ended up not. But if we were the last humans on Earth, I don't know. Maybe if I kept myself drunk. Why did you not mate? Because... Well, because he was a dork. Basically. <laughs> it's because of him that I took those lame classes that was his major. Love sure makes a person do dopey things. When we call off our engagement, I was so pissed off that I marched in the apartment that day and dropped them. I knew how much havoc that would wreak on my grade point average, but I didn't care. I understand all what you're saying, but I grasp that you no longer care for this person. I... I don't know if you can say it like that. Like, he was always trying to act strong, but he was soft down inside. Too soft. He wasn't the sort of guy a girl could rely on. If you're trying to pretend to be one thing, you shouldn't be something else, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. It's strange how I was drawn to him at first. It wasn't just because neither of us had parents. We met by accident near the campus, but as if I had already known him. Hey. No way. Could that be... I mean, no way. Charisse, what is it? It's Brian's pouch. Brian? My ex fiance Is the tail is stirring? He is. Huh? Huh? Good morning, sleepyhead. What, where am I? Where the hell am I? In a warm bed. In a safe room. Where the mistress of moonlight cannot touch you. But we can. That dream. Mandy, she was... Hey, get away. Who are you things? Did I sleep all the way to Halloween? He is frisky. And blithe. He shall be fun for many days. Where am I? Where am I? Where is Mandy? What are you trying to do? Kiss me? We feel better with his shirt removed? Allow me. We feel better with his trousers removed? Allow me. The first one you sheep ass that touches a single article of my clothing on gets it in the solar. He isn't serious. He is gentler than he appears. We love a man who is gentle. I, I am not gentleman. I'm not gentleman. Girls these days are much too direct. They still do not grasp the concept of creating the mood. But more to the point. I think I stayed unquickly and without a strain of infinity that this boy is mine. 
Not even give him until I'm t bored with him. Or until I call for extra company in bed, if only for the kicks and giggles. We aren't going to touch him, Nix. We were waiting for you, Nix. That one put her lips to my mouth. Under the small trespass constraint that within an hour, my darling, your own lips will show no trace of that hasty indecency. Rather, they shall have become the color of... Let's see, what did I put on today? Nix is licking her lips. Nix is peering at her tongue. Deep Cognac? Who are you? I have ridden the nightmares across the wasteland through the flames and during the straits of hell. I have tempted empires and seduced dynasties for passion for the mere pleasure of sensation. My name is Nix Vakorka, and you shall call me Nix. Were you able to get enough rest, my sweet one? Although I do have ways of keeping a man awake, the first might is earlier than I prefer to be using them. Where am I? Where did you bring me? Yes, ask questions. It's well to get them out of the way. This homely corner of the sanctuary is the best we could do under the circumstances. The knights, the bees, roughly all the world are frantically searching for you as we speak. I claim the art of being the first to successfully steal a man right out from underneath Jezebel's pale fingers. By that I mean before knights had even begun to deliver you to the bloated, that bloated insect. What? You belong to me and to me alone. Not to the Bee Queen, not to the Mistress of Moonlight, not to anyone else. The hell I belong to you. Darling, you ought to feel relief on top of this anticipation and titillation. You know what they say about Talos who are taken by the spiders? They seize any means available to end their own lives for the mating can commence. And a spire always kills her mate after the act. Surely our time together will not be anywhere near the realm of unpleasant. Here within the privacy of... There are harpies. Harpies are intruding. Well, what are you all waiting for? But Nyx, there are three of them. And how many are there of you? But harpies... If they only have one claw on my handsome, I'll see that none of you breed with him for a week. They killed them all. What are they? Grant me the privilege, my darling, of seeing those tail and these viewers in the act of sprinting. Ah, oh, great. I'm getting thirsty here. Ah, oh, shit. Darn it. That's too powerful of waste here. Book produces a powerful effect on yourself or on the entire map. They're among the few items that other creatures cannot use. That was pointless.
Man, this is harder than I thought it'd be. There's some water when you want it. Um, I don't want to go that way just yet. Go this way. Restoring attack. Crippling is a special mover that make creatures have. When you are crippled, your attack power is diminished. You can only be restored through the use of an item. one of the variety of effects and particular stats effects. Like many items, when you cross a specific potion for the first time, you'll not be able to tell what it does until the item is identified, either with a menage or by taking your chances and using it. Should I be trying to throw them off? There's another fork here. Well, now, let me think. I think there isn't time to be thinking. Can't really wait to get me alone, eh, my love. That's not it. At any rate, I shall need to pre myself up before we begin. All this running has my hair in disarray. Do you have to do that now? Darling, can you reach my comb? It ought to be tucked there in my back of my G-string. The hell, get yourself. I'm heading for that passageway. No, we go straight. Yes, definitely straight. Straight? Are you sure? When we turn off into the side passages, there's a wee dance. You might attempt the unthinkable. Believe me, you were wrong on that score. What I mean is that you might entertain the very mistaken notion of trying to escape from me. And that, my darling, just won't do. How can you even be worrying about me escaping when those flying chicks are after us? Cause those things look like they could tear a guy I knew. Oh, I'm not terribly concerned about them. I doubt they're still following us. What's that I see behind you? Side passage will do for now. Ah, this is a relief. A relief? See, my sweet boy, your plan would not have worked. Your shyness is indeed cute, but if you thought you could chicken out before the ahem festicities of the flesh, you saw that already were cornered. Is that all? What a bother harpies are. Well, what did you do? My view is such that even my own gender cannot resist me. Should I, should I but will them to? I have charm. They'll be following us around for a while. Come up here to the front. The air will be fresh to say nothing of sex here. <laughs> well, darling. I don't get it. If you can charm those creatures to not attack, then why in the play hell did you not do that from the beginning? You let those other things die. I don't know what they were, but they seemed like your friends. I don't worry your pretty face about them. But you could have. I didn't want to have Harpies following us around if I could be helped. Why? Because Harpies give off a stench like the end of the world. Ugh.
If you know where we're going, roughly, and Brian is there, I fear it would shake you to know what is most likely happening to your tailless acquaintance. N no. No, my god, oh god, we have to find him. Where your friend has been taken to is a good ways off, even where I, the goblet fool, wait. Therese, who is it? Shh. A bee soldier so deep in the sanctuary? This is unexpected. Walking insects, huh? The shock is already worn off. At least she wasn't buzzing up a storm like the bees in the fields near my house do. Those kinds of bees drive me nuts. I was ready to see a bee fly when not defending her queen. Why? A bee's wings are not strong. Fly is a great exertion for them. It's not uncommon for a bee to die from the use of her wings. No joking, I thought bees die when they use their stingers. Sting is no problem for them. Shh, it's the opposite of what I'm used to. Now, if a bee is still here, there's a glimmer of hope for your friend. Really? Why? Tell me why. Shh. Another bee. This one's an assassin. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that second is stalking the first. Intriguing. What's going on, Char? Tell me. I'm surprised to see bees still loitering these parts. Normally by now, they've fled the premises with a tailless by going in tow. What? The hive has an arrangement with the Mistress of Moonlight with Jezebel. Who is Jezebel? She is the current custodian of the spawn symbol, a position acquired through the use of force, naturally. She's some kind of sorceress? What's her deal? Few seem to have any first-hand knowledge about her. It's said that she conceals herself at all times when the moon is not visible. Hence the uh, appellation Mistress of Moonlight. So this Jezebel, she operates the spawn symbol? She and she alone. It is for the very purpose of protecting the spawn symbol that the sanctuary was first built. But as the sanctuary has in many parts fallen into ruin, the spawn symbol is now guarded by her knights. Jezebel utilizes his power to create males of your kind for breeding. Insane. At first, upon taking curl, she acted much as other custodians have in times past. Spawn males were evenly distributed among the races so that all had an equal opportunity to breed. As you are probably aware, one male of your kind is probably maintained and is sufficient to impregnate many females. Thus, few males were actually needed. There have been occasional wars and rivalries fought to gain a breeding advantage, but every race was able to persist. However, in recent seasons, Jezebel has awarded the right of breeding exclusively to the bees. Or rather, to the queen of the bees, the only one permitted to birth offspring in the strange culture that is theirs. She sends her knights to escort spawn men to bee emissaries, who in turn deliver him to their queen. But that means the other races have no opportunity to breed. All races are on the verge of extinction, Mandy. Some, in fact, have already crossed that verge. Why? What do they have to gain from hoarding men while everyone else goes extinct? What does a starving person have to gain by hoarding food in times of famine? That's... That's the bees, but as for Jezebel, who can say? Her motivations are a mystery. Is that why you're here, Chor? Are you going after Jezebel? No, Mandy. Hey, someone's coming! Oh, great, it's the knights. Jezebel's knights. Are they looking for the bees we saw? They're probably looking for your friend. For Brian, was it? Doesn't seem as if the bees know where he is. Oh, Char, you gotta help me find him. We need to rescue him before those horrible creatures take him to their queen. I must say, I'm glad the knights didn't come this way. I'm not anxious for another tangle with them. Almost didn't survive the last one. You fought those knights? Hard to take out a few of them in order to get in. I'm too big to enter the sanctuary through any entrance other than its least conspicuous one. He must be strong. Well, knights make tough adversaries even for a centaur. We should go a different route. Char, do you think Brian could be on the run, or would someone else have him? I don't know, Mandy. Your special friend could be anywhere. He's not that. All I can tell you is that bees haven't got him. If even one of them did, the hive itself would know. How? The bees can get through telepathy. One of only two races who can. Char, why doesn't somebody do something about this crisis? Believe me, nobody is sitting on their haunches. Harris is desperate to do anything they can to prolong their survival. The Zorsal ones have sometimes been able to hijack a delivery from Jezebel's knights. You could say that the Sanctuary is in a state of war of all against all, although it's already too late for some. Char. Chin up, Mandy. We'll find this boy for you. Char, I knew you were on my side. You have to fix your situation, too. It would be crying shame for there to be no more centaurs. Is that an offer? You would share a man with me? Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, I'll need to think about it. You know what? I, I haven't got one. <laughs> I wouldn't ask it of you. How's your throat? I'm so thirsty I could drink a horse. 
Oh, poor choice of words. Try to avoid speech. That's hard. I'm a chatterboxer, so I've been told. How long, I wonder? How long can a tailless go without water? Yeah. There is one I heard who managed to live for a week. He wasn't a chatterbox like you. Oh? But I think you know more about your own kind than I from living in your world and such. Wait, what did you just say? Ah, oh, well. So I lived in my own world, didn't you? Well, I uh, yes. So you believe me? You believe that I wasn't created here? Ah, uh, I did expect you were telling the truth. You've only memories of not, not only memories that this person called Brian, but we were found proof that he exists. How she even contained those keepsakes of you? That silly pal, she always had with wherever he went out the, the dork. Yet you say that you haven't seen him in this world, I doubt you'd have even had the chance. The two of you know each other, but have not met in this world? It can only mean that you must have had a prior existence. Char, you do believe me. What we thought we knew about the spawn symbol is a lie. Speak for yourself. And yet, Talos have to come from somewhere. Could it be that the Sponson was actually a portal to my world? Perhaps. I hope so. If there's a way to come to your world, there must be a way to get back. Hey, maybe Brian came to find me. Maybe that's why he's here. Unlikely. I've never known a Talos to come here willingly. But I don't doubt that your boy cares enough about you two. Hey, hey now. Brian doesn't care about me. He's the one who called off our engagement. I wouldn't be so too sure considering all those things we found in that pouch. Bracelet you said you gave him for his birthday, that cloth with your name on it, those magical paintings. They're called photographs, and that's enough talk about Brian. Well, it's better that you don't talk. Centaur. Who? Who is this? Centaur, I can give you what you desire. Who's talking to me? You're not a beast, you must be... Oh, that's only one thing. Do not prick the female tailless when I come for her. I require her and the male tailless both. Mandy, you want Mandy? Not protect her, by my power I promise you will die. You have been warned. I'm going to die anyway. Char, are you alright? I heard you talking to yourself. It was nothing. Uh, we still haven't found any water. Great, we can't go that way. To make escape matter, she can form to get out of a pinch. When corners are surrounded by four sides, press the L button to perform the maneuver. Yuki, something will fly up to a safe square. Great. I need another key. Only well, possibly influence a creature's disposition charges by giving her items that she wants. With most creatures, there's a single type of item they are interested in. Occasionally, her behavior is a clue to which type of item that is. For instance, if you see someone pick up a potion, there's a good chance she's interested in potions. If you're frequently offering gifts to creatures of a given type, you just might find her friends and family less hostile towards you. get this one.
What are you doing exactly? Aside from oozing sexiness from every poor beautiful. What are you doing now? Where are we going now? Uh, well, for now, for now we need to aid rid ourselves of those stinky birds. Wait, what did you say? Get rid of the harpies? Yeah, it's better not to wait too long before killing them off. I just need somewhere to pick a fight with. Any old race will do. I'm sure there's someone around here willing to oblige. Kill them off? Why? Hands up, the effect of my charm will be fading soon. When that happens, the harpies will become unfriendly again. I can't have my precious merchandise sullied. You're gonna make them die protecting you, like those she bats from before? Certainly. Is it necessary to kill them? Of course it is, my love. I mean, why so much killing? I don't know. What well, you creatures are, but all you seem to be intelligent. I don't know, I just isn't there a way to do. I mean, why are you all murdering each other all the time? Well, a lucky woman I am. At least I found myself a man who is not only good looking, but gentle and sweet. What is your name? None of your business. Brian, is it not? Come with me, Brian. It's been so long since I've had myself a treat of the likes of you that I could hardly bear it. That's not what we were discussing. Well, look, I do believe we found our customer. A bee, is it? Leave the tail us now. Or else? Or else, I... That is, the queen cannot guarantee your safety. Hmm, I believe that is not normal for a bee to hesitate when speaking of her sovereign. Tell me, that is your name, is it not? I know of you. The bee who fell in love with a tailus, but that love was not meant to be. You and I can tell you serve your queen in name only now. That isn't true. Has she chosen you to test your devotion to see if in this next catch ever... Ever amazed your honey laden hideout? I don't even me being a bee, never allowed to mate, never able to love. Desist. Stop being silly, you're clearly outnumbered, the odds are laughing in your face. What was his name? Ross, was it? I think it's a pretty one. I would have liked to have had him myself. That's enough. I sympathize with the desire to run off with a lovely tailless man, but what made you think your queen wouldn't know? I didn't run off with him. You let him escape. News from the beehive ma does make it to these parts, you know. Where are you both going on about? Step away, my love. This won't take but a minute. I'll hear no more words from you. <laughs> Have it your way, then. Well, if you're a hive or not, I shall not allow you, you or anyone to touch my pretty new male. All right, you obnoxious birds, eliminate this pest. Crush her tiny body and tear out her wings. <laughs>
I don't like this room. Nah, so I think I'll call it quits here. It's gonna take me a couple of tries to probably... It's been over an hour, and I got some other stuff I want to do tonight, so... Until next time, see ya.